in practice. Everybody getting into the act. Durant fires for three. All right, back on game time, looking ahead to the 2018-2019 NBA season, which, by the way, is uh, less than two months away. Bovada put out the latest MVP odds for the season. LeBron is, he is the heavy favorite to win it, but right behind him is Anthony Davis, followed by another guy who has been in the MVP conversation but never won one, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and the reigning champ, James Harden, in it fourth, followed by Kevin Durant. So, Steve Smith, Jared Greenberg, let's talk first and foremost about LeBron James, who finished second in the MVP voting to the bearded one last season. W- what do you think has to happen in this upcoming season with the Lakers and with LeBron's numbers for that quote-unquote LeBron fatigue to go by the wayside and for him to win his fifth MVP? Well, I think, first of all, team-wise, I think he has to elevate the Los Angeles Lakers to third or fourth seed. They have to have home court advantage. And in the Western Conference, that'll be fantastic from where they were last year to the third or fourth seed. I think he also has to put up the similar type numbers that he put in Cleveland last year to get a chance to win that award. But I I think if it's close and he's elevated the Los Angeles Lakers to third or fourth, he'll have a a decent chance of winning it. Do you think that the makeup of this roster, so many questions, the other moves aside from LeBron that were brought in, that almost maybe it helps him, right? Because if he elevates this team, as Mm -hmm. you're talking about, people say, oh, maybe maybe he's, again, impressing us. Yeah, because it's a team that wasn't in the playoffs. Obviously, they have a lot of young guys, the core guys who are playing a lot. They brought in some veterans, but you're looking at the Kuzma and Brandon Ingram and obviously Lonzo Ball. I think if he can get these guys playing at that level, which they're all talented, they're in a conversation of the third or fourth best team, in the Western Conference, and he has those type of numbers, and he's elevated those guys, and they're exciting. He has a chance, because he had a good chance last year, just yeah. that James Harden's numbers was phenomenal, to go along with the wins with the Rockets. I will think the odd makers watching that list, I think Joel, B's, uh, Joel Embiid's odds should be a little bit higher. I think his numbers, Interesting. just because he'll be healthy, and I think their win total will go up. There's no Cleveland, right. but I think they'll go up a slot. I think he'll be a little bit higher than what I saw on that board. Well, what about a guy who finished third in the MVP voting last year behind Harden and behind LeBron James, Anthony Davis, who got his team back to the playoffs. He's shown that he can be healthy for two consecutive seasons, playing 75 games each of the last two, but no DeMarcus Cousins, no Rondo. What does Anthony Davis have to do this year to win the award? You know, I I think he has to at least keep the win totals where they are and also maybe even higher, but now you have the Los Angeles Lakers that are in the Western Conference. And then also the Denver Nuggets have gotten better. San Antonio Spurs will be better just by virtue of having guys playing. It's going to be tough for Anthony Davis when you start talking about win totals. But he will individually always have those MVP-type numbers. You know, you you mentioned uh, Joel Embiid, another guy who I think is pretty intriguing in this list, the guy outside the top five in terms of odds to win MVP Mm -hmm. is Kawhi Leonard. You know what? We know he has the talent here. I just don't see it, the makeup of Toronto, Kawhi Leonard, unless there's something else. I think Kawhi will have a phenomenal year, especially in the Eastern Conference. But I don't know if he'll have those type of numbers and that type of system, because we don't even know what the system may be. And him getting familiar with a lot of guys, I don't know if he'll be that high. 